Good morning, O'Neill. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. It is uh, Wildcat Wednesday today. It, so it is Wednesday, March 18th, and we're back again to have some reading today. Um, we're going to be reading The Pain and the Great One by Judy Bloom, and we're going to be talking about compare and contrast. So that's one of my favorite reading strategies to do. And while I'm reading, I want you to think about our two main characters, the pain and the great one. And so maybe at home, you can make a Venn diagram just like this, make two big circles and leave enough space in the middle to talk about what's the same about the characters. So we're going to start this today. And I love this book because it's about uh, a brother and a sister who sometimes don't get along, but in the end, they actually really need each other. And I know a lot of you are at home with your brothers and sisters, and sometimes you can get annoyed with each other, but when it comes down to it, you need each other and you love each other. So let's get started. <clears throat> the pain. Bring on the pain. Oh, and school started. <laughs> My brother's a pain. He won't get out of bed in the morning. My mom has to carry him into the kitchen. He opens his eyes when he smells his cornflakes. He should get dressed himself. He's six. He's in first grade. And that's why we're in Miss Solis's first grade room today. But he's so pokey. Dad has to help him or he'd never be ready in time. And he'd miss the bus. Have any of you ever missed the bus? It can get a little anxious, but we're at home and we're reading so we don't have to miss a bus. If he cries, I leave without him. Then mom gets mad and yells at me, which is another reason why my brother's a pain. <clears throat> He's got to be the first to show mom his work. Um, she says, ooh and ah, all over his pictures, which aren't great at all, just ordinary first grade stuff. At dinner, he picks at his food. He's not supposed to get dessert if he doesn't eat his meat, but he always gets it anyway. That sounds like a little brother I know at my house. <laughs> when he takes a bath, my brother the pain powders the whole bathroom. He never gets his face clean. Daddy says he's learning to take care of himself. I say, he's a slob. My brother, the pain, is two years younger than me. So how come he gets to stay up as late as I do? Which isn't really late enough for somebody in third grade, anyway. I asked mom and daddy about that. They said, you're right, you are older, you should stay up later. So they tucked the pain into bed. I couldn't wait for the fun to begin. I waited and waited and waited. But daddy and mom just sat there reading books. Reading books is nice to do instead of being on our phones, which is what we should be doing more often. <laughs> Finally, I shouted, I'm going to bed. We thought you wanted to stay up later, they said. I did, but without the pain, there's nothing to do. Remember that tomorrow, mom said, and she smiled. But the next day, my brother was a pain again. When I got a phone call, he danced all around me, singing stupid songs at the top of his lungs. Why does he have to act that way? And 
And why does he always want to be garbage men when I build a city out of blocks? Who needs him knocking down buildings with his dumb old truck? And I would really like to know why the cat sleeps on Payne's bed instead of mine. Especially since I'm the one who feeds her. That's the meanest thing of all. I don't understand how mom can say pain is lovable. She's always kissing him and hugging him and doing disgusting things like that. And dad says the pain is just what they always wanted. Yuck. I think they love him better than me. And now, the great one. My sister thinks she's so great just because she's older, which makes daddy and mom think she's really smart. But I know the truth. My sister is a jerk. She thinks she's great just because she can play the piano and you can tell the songs are real ones. But I like my songs better even if nobody's ever heard them before. My sister thinks she's so great just because she can work the can opener, which means she gets to feed the cat, which means the cat likes her better than me, just because she feeds her. Hmm. So the great one thinks the cat likes the pain better. And the pain thinks that the cat likes the great one better. Hmm, seems like maybe they need to have a restorative circle about their issues. My sister thinks she's so great just because Aunt De Diana lets her watch the baby and tells her how much the baby likes her. And all the time the baby is sleeping in my dresser drawer, which mom has fixed up like a bed for when the baby comes to visit. And I'm not supposed to touch him even if he's in my drawer and gets changed on my bed. My sister thinks she's so great just because she can remember phone numbers and when she dials, she never gets the wrong person. Yeah, that's something uh, from long ago when we had to dial numbers and not just in our cell phones. Um, maybe try to memorize some of your phone numbers while you're at home. See if you can remember them all and write them down. And when she has friends over, they build whole cities out of blocks. I like to be garbage man. I zoom my trucks all around. So what if I knock down some of their buildings? It's not fair. She always gets to use the blocks. I told Daddy and Mom, they said, you're right. Today you can use the blocks all by yourself. I'm going to build a whole city without you, I told the great one. Go ahead, she said. Go build a whole state without me. See if I care. So I did. I built a whole country all by myself. Only it's not the funnest thing to play blocks alone. Because when I zoomed my trucks and knocked down buildings, nobody cared but me. Remember that tomorrow, Mom said when I told her I was through playing blocks. Mm. So they need each other. They need each other to have fun and to play and imagine together. So you need your siblings. You need your brothers and sisters. Remember that while you're home. But the next day, we went swimming. I can't stand my sister when we go swimming. She thinks she's so great just because she can swim and dive. 
and isn't afraid to put her face in the water. I'm scared to put mine in, and she calls me a baby. Which is why I have to spit water at her, and pull her hair, and even pinch her sometimes. So again, maybe they need to talk about their feelings, and what's happening, and what they're feeling at the time, and maybe some solutions to get through it which is our restorative conversations. And I don't think it's fair for daddy and mom to yell at me because none of it's my fault, but they yell anyway. Then mom hugs my sister and messes her hair and does other disgusting things like that. And daddy says the great one is just what they always wanted. Yuck. I think they love her better than me. Well, there is a lot of great ideas for compare and contrast with the pain and the great one. I definitely think if you listen through and read it again, you can find some things that are totally different about the pain, like he can't swim or he doesn't like to put his face in the water, and the great one likes to put her face in the water and swim. But I think something the same is they both need each other to play and have fun. So I hope today you get a chance to play with your brother or sisters, have fun, and try to love each other. All right, I'll see you back tomorrow for another book. And have a wonderful Wednesday.